Welcome to this Trinity Lutheran and St. Andrews Lutheran at both in Percasey Wednesday evening prayer service in this Advent season. As the candles have been lit, now the third candle already, let us sing the first verse of O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. At every beginning, there is a yearning for the one who is coming, O Emmanuel. Wake us up to your coming. We gather together to expect the unexpected and imagine the unimaginable. O Emmanuel, wake us up to your coming. We wait for the day when God will recycle tanks into tractors and transform minefields into soccer fields. O Emmanuel, wake up to your coming. We stay awake by telling stories that offer a glimmer of a future and agitate dormant hope within us. O Emmanuel, wake us up to your coming. We gather together to get ready for what only heaven knows, O Emmanuel. Prepare us for your coming. We wait for the day when God will create a prevailing peace on earth and natural born enemies turn into newborn friends, O Emmanuel. Prepare us for your coming. We get ready for God to come close by laying our lives open to Jesus, asking him to sort through all our mixed motives. O Emmanuel, prepare us for your coming. We gather together to allow our deeply held hopes to be reshaped by God's promises. O Emmanuel, open us up to your coming. We wait for the day when God will make for us a future that is no longer predicated on our fear. O Emmanuel, open us up to your coming. We find a new receptivity within us that desires God's will over our own will and relies on God's justice and mercy to accomplish it. O Emmanuel, open us up to your coming. Jesus, we welcome your presence now with the lighting of these candles, whose flames bring warmth to winter and fill this place with the glow of hope. Amen. Once again, welcome to this service of prayer and reflection. 
in this Advent season, already the third week of Advent. Our Christmas services are approaching on Wednesday the 22nd. The, here at uh, St. Andrews, we will uh, have the longest night service in person and it'll also be online. And then Christmas Eve at four and 8 p.m. And those of you who participate online, uh, just know the 8 p.m. service here will be uh, online. And we invite you, as always, to, to think about giving, either through tithely, digitally, or to mail offering envelopes in to either St. Andrews or, or Trinity. And we thank you in advance, especially for your year-end giving. Now let us hear the psalmody, Psalm 141. Psalm of the evening is from Isaiah 11. The wolf shall live with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the kid, the, the calf, calf and, and the lion and, and the fatling together, and, and a little child shall lead them. A shoot shall come out from the stump of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of its roots. The spirit of the Lord shall rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. His delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see or decide by what his ears hear, but with righteousness he shall judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. He shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips he shall kill the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt around his waist, and faithfulness the belt around his loins. The wolf shall live with the lamb. The leopard shall lie down with the kid, the calf and the lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze, their young shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play on the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put his hand on the adder's den. They will not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain, for the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord <clears throat> as the waters cover the sea. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, beginning, is now, now, and and will will be forever. forever. Alleluia. Amen. The wolf shall live with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the kid, the The calf calf and the lion and the the fatling together, and the little child shall lead them. The Gospel reading is from Luke, the seventh chapter. To what then will I compare the people of this generation, and what are they like? They are like children sitting in the marketplace and calling to one another. We played the flute for you, and you did not dance. We wailed, and you did not weep. For John the Baptist has come eating no bread and drinking no wine, and you say he has a demon. The Son of Man has come eating and drinking, and you say, Look, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Nevertheless, wisdom is vindicated by all her children. This then is the third week of Advent and I've been reflecting on the Psalm of the Evening, which is actually a beautiful uh, piece from Isaiah. Uh, And I heard a presentation this this past week by a a psychologist who, who was critiquing hope and as being so thoroughly unrealistic. And I was actually, as a Christian and believer, offended by that, that that hope which Paul describes as one of the three cardinal virtues, faith, hope, and charity, or faith, hope, and love, is so critical for how we function as Christians. And certainly this passage from Isaiah is filled with hope, but just look, if we look at the first part of it, it's a, it's a foreshadowing of the coming of Jesus from, uh, from the, um, the stump of Jesse, from the family of Jesse, uh, David, King David's father. And surely we know that Jesus came, our Messiah, our Savior, and he was filled with the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might. All you have to do is hear Handel's Messiah, right, to, to, to hear these resounding refrains that were fulfilled uh, in that. And, you know, we, we sort of then hear these rest of them that, 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 I, that I think this commentator was not, uh, was, was, was sort of struggling with, right? Not these in particular, but just the sense of hope. The wolf shall live with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the kid, the calf and the lion and the fatling uh, together, which, is, which has also been our antiphon today, and a little child shall lead them and it goes on and on with these, with these profound visions of human community, human hopefulness, that there will be peace. Now, I'm sure that the commentator was, was aware of the fact that, that Russian troops are amassing at the Ukrainian border and, and wondering what that was going to uh, uh, come to. But I, I would think if we don't have hope and envision the possible of peace, with the leopard lying down with the kid and the, uh, and the lion eating, eating straw, isn't that wonderful? The lion eating straw like the ox. Then we, we, it, it cannot be put into uh, effect. That, if we, that if, we, if, we, if we don't envision it, if we can't see it, right, um, then indeed it cannot happen. And so, uh, so we need diplomats who, who will be able to, to, to talk us off the edge um, uh, when our nations want to go to war uh, with each other. Uh, and, and we'll be able to, to, to come about uh, with a, with a comprom- bring about a compromise or, or some kind of new vision of human community that, that serves multiple interests. You know, the, 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 the reason that, that Isaiah lifts up the the, the asp and, and the children of the asp is, is apparently th- that snake, uh, the, the, uh, the adder, um, uh, devours it. They, they devour each other. Um, and, and that's just no true vision, right, uh, of, of, of communities devouring each other. The nursing child, Isaiah says, shall play, you know, over the, uh, over the den. Um, such a beautiful vision. Right? Um, of, of also uh, a vision of peace with nature so that a reconciliation 
with nature. Um, and so that, you know, nature is not destroyed, that nature doesn't destroy itself, right? As we, we were just experiencing those powerful hurricane, hurric uh, tornadoes, excuse me, um, and the tornadoes that ravaged us uh, this summer uh, as a result of a hurricane. They will not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain. So I want to argue for hope and an envisioned hope, a hope that's concrete, a hope that is attainable, but only by the power of God, the power of the child that came to be among us. That child needs to lead us, even Jesus Christ. Amen. The Song of Mary. The Lord be with you, and, and also, also with you. you. Let us pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine, thine is the kingdom, kingdom and the power and the, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and, and grant, grant us your, your salvation. salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and, and sustain, sustain us with, with your bountiful spirit. spirit. Give peace in all the world, for, for only in you can we live in safely. Keep the nations unto your care, and, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your, your saving, saving health among all nations. nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor, nor the, the hope, hope of the, the poor, poor be taken, taken away. 
Create in us clean hearts, O God, and And sustain sustain us with with your your Holy Spirit. Spirit. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us, and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, and new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. Alleluia. 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 Alleluia.